On your math quiz, you earn five points for each question that you answer correctly. In the table above, Q represents the number of questions that you answer correctly on your math quiz, and P represents the total number of points that you score on your quiz. The relationship between these two variables can be expressed by the following equation. P is equal to 5Q, where P is the points you get and Q is the number of questions you answered correctly. And you can see that in the table. If Q is zero, if you got no questions right, you get zero points. If you got no questions right, well, five times zero is going to be zero. If you get one question right, well, one times five is five. You get five points per question. Two questions right, well, two times five is 10. Two times five is 10. 3 times 5 is 15, so this all makes sense. So then they ask us, which of the following statements are true? Check all that apply. So let's think about this. They say the dependent variable is the number of points you score. So when you think about what's happening here, is your number of points you score is being driven by how many questions you get right. It's not like somehow the teacher says, you got 15 points and now you have to get exactly three questions right. It's the other way around. The number of questions you get right is the independent variable and that's driving the number of points you score. So the number of points you score is the dependent is the dependent variable. And typically, the convention is, is to have the dependent variable be equal to some expression involving the independent variable. And you see that right over here. P is dependent on what happens to Q. Depending on the number of questions, you multiply it by five and you get P. So the dependent variable is the number of points you score. The dependent variable is the number of questions you answer correctly. No, we've already talked about that. That's the independent variable. The independent variable is the number of points you score. No, that's not right. That's the dependent variable. The independent variable is the number of questions you answer correctly. Well, that's right. That's what's driving the dependent variable. And we can check our answer.